right, morning people. All right, so today, me just feel like, you know, me have a lot of things. We want to share, you know, with everybody, my friend, them, and, you know, the whole world overall. Because, you know, enough time we go to things, and we're not really sure. You know, like you go to school, you're not really sure, you know, if you should take on a certain job experience and so. So I've been through it. Both J1, regular visa, H2 B, the whole nine yard. I'm saying, I feel like I should share my experience. You know, I keep it to myself. You know, cause enough time we as students, um, want experience, but you're not really sure. You know, you're, you're just kind of nervous. You know, know if you can take on the, you know, the experience. So I'm gonna share my um experience with you guys. The first time going on a J1. <laughs> so, I go to, for those who know me, for all of my friends, they know know me from Facebook and um, family and so. I went to Excelsior High School. All right, for those who know me. So, my experience now going on a J1, you know, and it's, it's a really good experience. So, these videos that I'll be doing, you know, it's just to say if I would do it again, I will do a redo or I would not do it again. So, at the end, we will say, you know, I'm going to do it all again or I'm going to think I'm going to do it again. And I went to access a community college. Alright. So, I'm going to access a community college now and I did tourism. So, with that said, you now, by... You know, you done the first two years, you know, and you go on a work experience, you know, for gain the whole working vibes and stuff like that. So, there comes the whole work experience now for go. Um, for the J1, so I say, you know, I'm not sure if I should have do it. You know, this mixed feeling coming in, and I know if I should have do it. Yeah, one, that can you never go far in yet, you know, so I said, you know, sir, I know if I should take on this. You know, so. You know, I talk to my mother and say, Mommy, you know, say, me I get the opportunity to go for it. But me I tell the people, yes, you're going to school, always find something to motivate you. Either your life experience, your family, stuff where you go to for kind of push you. And enough time people go to school and they really have the local motivation and the local push or nothing. So it comes like, um, you know, sometimes people not finish or they discourage family can discourage your friend can discourage your life situation can discourage you but for me you know my mother was my motivation because when we see my mother and certain opportunity can reach her and thing and thing in her life you know certain things that she wants she kind of hard to get it so i always talk to myself talk to father god and say father god mama can get the chance if you can give up my mother because my mother is a mother like this you know they say go to high school me know them always full up with this food slaps but me is a food girl, you know, me always a cook and everything there. So, um, everything, me and I go up at Constance Spring, go buy it. You know, Constance Spring have a supermarket up there. You just have everything up at, up at near Constance Spring, really. So, um, me don't know how far up in a Constance Spring, but when you go up at the square, this and it's close to the mall, it's turn back right there. So, so I always have to go buy pepperoni, cheese, you know, any little things she always did it for me. I can't say there is one moment when my mother not really say she go did it. She always, no matter what at my school, cooking, anything I keep, she always try to make sure she, she, she be a mother and play a role and did it for me. I can't swear about that. You understand? Everything, my mother, my mother come like my best friend. Let me cancel everything. All right, go back to the whole story now. So, let me say, all right, J1. Let me say, right, it. Oh, me, I'll get the money and all. Cause J1, J1 is a case like this. You have to have at least about a 800 US different from your playing fear to go for a J1. Best believe. So that is one of the things then why enough people not really venture on it because if you not have the money like that, go for it. It now go really, you know, you now get the opportunity because you have to have a little money put on one side. Once you start go college, just have a little money put on card. Opportunity always presents itself. Once you're in a school, 
J1 and go come up. So, alright, so J1 go up now, I say, Father God, I want a little experience, you know, so I can go far enough, help my father, my mother, help my mother. My father never really did not the picture much, but, you know, him, him did it for help me now and then, you know, the argument first, but you don't know my father that him did it for help me. Whenever I reach out to him, you know, me have to reach out to him, kind of make him know what I want to help me. So, um, so the J1 thing come up now. So I say, all right, my mother have a last money for buy. That time she pregnant and my little brother, little brother 15 now. Just imagine how long that. So she say, all right, here we go. We have the last money you know, to buy the baby crib. So here we go. And I say, I call it a foreign thing and you work. When you take the money and just do what you have to do. Come in, you know, you know probably she I think she knows so she will get it back. So I say, all right. Deal with paperwork and everything. Gone now, say, mm -mm. say, reach a foreign and thing. When we reach now, that I went to Colorado. So, you know, we get the opportunity. Even though I kind of did um, major in a food and beverage. You know, we get the experience with the housekeeping. Because the thing is with J1, is not the work where you do. No, in Jamaica, have to be the same thing where you got to do a foreign for say. Same food. Sometimes you get housekeeping. Sometimes you get laundry. You know, I saw the foreign thing go. I first run, run with it, work with it. So I say, all right, now I'm in up in Colorado now. <laughs> so, you know, being homesick, everything reach in Colorado now. And, they did for the first day, God. the hotel is at the top, but we live like on the ground floor, so, you know, so we have to walk down the stairs to you know, about our room there. Alright, so, but then, you know, you know, meet a lot of friends. You know me, a lot of friends, uh, um, not of a friend named them on Facebook, no. Where well, we've been through the whole experience, so them can relate. So, go find the J1, no, and reach and everything. Alright, feel it so no got the first time in my life I actually leave my yard for send me I go somewhere me alone. <laughs> you know, me not go with my mother, me not go with my brother, then me not, me not go with nobody what me know. So you know say so that experience you have to kinda meet people. You know, make sure you're that type of outgoing person. They were you know have a social social thing to talk to people. You know this quiet you know, me not the quiet type. Me was here sit down and I say, well, I'm moving everything I go on, you know, Ray Ray. And your mama and dad introduce myself. That is me. Everybody will know me. You know that I'm me. Me not going in one room with 100 people and I sit down by myself. So, no, I don't mean that. So, I'm going on, one, you know, with up on the ground floor. I feel out the place, you know, walk around and get to see the bathroom. You know, we Jamaican we love to see the bathroom first. Or big it is, whatever, you know. Bathroom, a good size, a shower, and top different. and you know, kitchen there, there and but only thing was a problem. We can't cook. That was my main issue. We can't cook. You know, you know, as Jamaican, you know, your mother pack you up with a bottle of syrup, jerk seasoning, ah, uh, anything you know, Jamaican we can work with. So me have all of that. So, um, what what the thing is now? All we get to eat now, them have a restaurant upstairs. So whenever them cook, they bring down food for give me down to them. Like that, it's not a little prison style. You know, too like that. You have always a dinner come and then something there. Other from that, you have to go shop, go a store, go buy your stuff, them to keep with you. Yeah, so they didn't they, they know me and they didn't know this is the first day feeling all the place and everything. So the second day, you know, I don't know, I just kind of feel a little weird. The second day, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, it's like sir, so much restriction. I'm not used to come in the woman, you know, you can't eat when they're ready and go back to when they're ready and do what you want when they're ready. You know, nobody not there to tell you what to do. When I did when me did this, I know, I just feel a little some type of way like the second day. I say, no, oh, sir, this not feel good. This not feel like how I got normally react when I did this. A piece of warm sick take me, you know. <laughs> a piece of warm sick take me, say, I want to come home. I start ball. I feel bad. I miss my mother. I miss my brother. I just feel bad. I say, no, sir, what could I go? I walk, I walk, I walk, I walk. I feel good. This, not, this, this, that's all. The first time, I know what warm sick really feel like. 
is that I can't get for if me, if me want something to eat, me have to wait for me to come with it from upstairs and go buy me thing. And then the room, them again, this kind of small, so you know, so you have the bunk bed, you have the bottom bed, and then you have the top bed. And then over next side, they have a next bed over there. So I tell you, so the room, them small, room, them about probably about, um, let me see, I can measure it, probably about, I put it about, eight, I mean, I think about 10 by 10, eight, probably about, because them kind of rectangular, like, you know, so they come like 8 by 10, something like that. And, um, Second year, you know, I start ball because my mother said, Mommy, I want to come home, you know, I don't like this, you know, this is not a workout. I don't feel like I'm in one prison. I don't feel good. So I have ball like my mother the second day, and my mother said, I'm just trying to relax. You know, she always said that. Try to relax, try and get, you know, used to the place, you know. I tell you, I'm alone, I go and sign on a ball, you know. <laughs> So, you know, about the third day now, you know, me kind of meet the other girls, them. them you know, me and, if, yeah, me, me and them are friends on Facebook, so I'm going to see that video. Yeah. So, me meet them other girls, and yeah, so I say, me, we're tough like a rock, you know. This reach, you know, me don't normally cry for things like that. So, third day, you know, I say, no, man, I'm just trying to work with this guy. I kind of really need the money, I'm thinking about my mother, and I say, oh, mother try so hard to help me and reach it and just get this opportunity and go through so much so much to get this help reach us so and we can't just give up like that no so we go try to talk to talk at four months me go the far so me go just try and talk to talk at j1 you know four months it last so i try and talk to talk so you know day by day meet and um other girls them the day and thing you know work work together we talk you know, get to know each other more, you know, kind of build a relationship. And my mother always said this, once me they're foreign, I'm be don't call her, she knows I'm all right. Once me call, she knows there's something right. So the, the calling kind of get less and less, I'm going to really call her so often again, so she just say, all right. She, uh, she be there now, she good. So Colorado was like this. When uh, I was keeping this like this. It's one time you got the supervisor morning time and she get a paper there. And it's about 30 to 40 room on it. Best believe you have done that by 4 o'clock. No joke thing. So whether you done and your friend faster than you, your friend always come back for help you. For say, man, where is she rich? How much room you have left? Ring, 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 you know? But the, 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 the thing is about Jamaican, you know, we don't like when you Mexican, you know, work with Mexican when you go to the housekeeping per se. We, we not like when the Mexican them check your room first. Because when they check your room and go with the money, best believe in and the money forget. And that's another motivation. Because we like when we are working, we say, look, money and you look, two dollars, two five dollars, put down. You know, it kind of encouragement, sweet the labor. You understand me? So when they run, come no money, then they want to help you strip your bed. <laughs> and them strip the bed and then go with the wall of the money and the wall of the tip. That's not, not feel good. So they can make you get away, you can even make you move slower too. So. Yeah, so back to the story now. So when time a man in time now you get your thirty room, your forty room, and you not get no good ten and a fifteen room. You never go far in for work. And you have to know what you have to do too. If you don't know you better try find out and try know. So the Mexican them used to check for we and them see how we clean the room them. Cause you know show them that a long time year upon year, them always come. Check your room for you after you're done. For say, yeah, man, that good or that no good or this one fix, whatever the case is. So the Mexican them now used to come and see, yeah, wash out all the tub and wash this and wash that. They used to come and see, they would say, no, you don't do that. <laughs> you know, you spray and your wife, if you're not happy, cover down. You know, it kind of make it go look faster. So I said, okay, okay, sorry. Okay, okay. So that's all we kind of get for no, if you do the thing look faster. To just can't cut the thing. So, right now, when time we get the room, them everything done by four o'clock, and the week burn off now. You gonna say, all right, you know, we did live near one little lake, you know, walk with it sometime. But we say, no man, you know, we look look a second job and so on and work and thing. You know, you that far and you never work one job. We get the opportunity for work two jobs we do it. So, um, once it is within whatever, you just know what you do. So, when time Friday come now, we are saying, no man, top most day what we can do, you know, college girls, you know, we don't have the responsibility there, so, you know, we are saying, what we can do for kind of, you know, nice, up a local, 
week I work so hard, I clean so much room. So what we have, when we find out now, we say there was a club in town. So we say we know we're there and they meet people. You know, have a next hotel up there, so some other people other Jamaican come there, so from work. So that's how we get to meet them, you know. I say, you know, other females, and some males, so Jamaicans come up. But they had this big man still, and some girls we didn't know our age range. Um, so we say, all right, we make a treat if you say, listen, on Friday time, we're going to go to our local club, go, go relax yourself. So the guy, them said, they them come pick we up. So every Friday, no, me no know when you go for J1, your mind gone. It is like you just want to spend money for clothes. And I said, This is the first time, you know, going on a J1, you know. So for Friday, for Thursday night, during the week, like all Thursday or so, me have a friend and team up. I will go buy clothes. I will go buy clothes. Me, me, me remember the first time when I go in uh, for the club, when I buy one skirt, a black skirt. And a red blouse to match it. It make it even look good in my face, but we suppose can't find a picture there. And we got a club and thing. Remember, you know, we're not going away, you know, for that the first month, two months, you know. And we get this opportunity, you know, I say, yeah. Go out, we go out, you know, them time. They, we, me was a girl who do eyelash. Anybody come on them eyelash, you do? Me would do eyelash. And me would do the ear, too. Me was that time, but me never yet have a friend who said them can do me back. So I'm kind of, you know, do my thing. So, what are we now? Team up now and say, yeah, you know, the pretty up and dolly up and all these things say we are good. So, drive come through, you know, pick you up. God, we you know. Me I tell us say the club, I forgot the club. And then, what well, he said, the selectors are jummy, you can select that. Ah, Jesus, I'm raised everything. Let loose this up. Me, you know, when normally they won't buy myself. I don't normally have company. Me, me, me is not the girl that have to be a friend. Company, go out and them thing there. So if you go out at a club and see a Jamaican select and see the Jamaican music them are playing. It was lit. So we go on and we we'll would dance, drink, enjoy ourselves. So, you know, party did nice. You know, we we'll come home back and say, all right. You know, we're going to make this a thing. Friday time, we can't do skip. Girl. People, make sure you don't know what say when you go for a program. Save the money. <laughs> Save the money. Things are going to money, you want to spend money and so But at the end of the day, when you come back to Jamaica, you're going to need the money. Follow my advice. You're going to need the money. So, when you go ahead, but, but, nothing, don't make nothing stop your enjoyment. Enjoy yourself. Same way, me and I work and I see it. Enjoy yourself. Alright, so. When time we go go to the club them now Friday time. You know it was a good experience. We wanna get tipsy and you know we just enjoy ourselves. It was a good experience. Alright, so you know there was a lot of drama what happened. Cause one of my friend them they like half a African and you know look for controversy did go on because one of my next friend them they like have the same person so you know, all the local things go on. But at the end of the day, we'll, we'll grow through it. Um, we get to, you know, meet people through the whole thing. So that's the thing, you know. I'm kind of glad for the experience. And we we'll go for the four months. We we'll come back home. I went a second time to the same place. I went the second time. It was very good because well, now I get seasoning to the place. I never that homesick anymore. We went back with the same girls. So it was very good. No, I could have actually, it's the first time if I walk from here to so go down the road, it come like a 10 mile. But when I go a second time around, it, it come like um the journey gets shorter. You reach quicker, if you know what I mean. You know when you walk around and you go back a second time, it's not so long like the first time. So you kind of more fitting, you know, second time around. I know I'm not for work with too much jerk seasoning and then something there. But the second time around, we get to know the Mexican they were working at the kitchen. So when them cook, no one used to bring their food. I don't know, American have this thing when them cook. I don't know why them choose to cook with salt and pepper only. I can't see beyond it. But me used to tell the Mexican man, say, listen, I have a seasoning. 
I would like to introduce you to. And instead of cooking this big chunk of breast, throwing it on the grill, why not try and cut it up and, you know, put the season on it so it kind of look better, right? So, we kind of introduce a little cooking to them. They must kind of, they must kind of surprise to see somebody actually cooking like that. I must say, him never know said the meat would have cut up like that. So, I say, yeah, cut it up smaller, put the seasoning them on it first before you throw it on the grill. Because you know them have a style of them throwing the raw meat on the grill. And when the meat start cook, then them just a sprinkle of salt and pepper on it. And after you don't know, that's the point. They don't put on the raw onion. So, we Jamaicans don't cook like that. I don't cook like that. Because of the meat, you throw on the dirt seasoning. You know, you put on the onion, the skelly, and the thyme, the garlic, the whatever. And you know, if you want to it marinate a little bit, not everybody marinate, but you can just throw everything in the hot oil, just a little oil, fry it up, left it, make it clean. That's our cooking. So when we kind of show him, say, yeah, you can do it like this, and you taste it, girl, people, listen, that was the first time going away, and me actually eat something kind of taste. Jamaican. Because no matter what, cook in America, even if I use the same ingredients, they don't cook it. Oh, we now man cook it, now it tastes the same. They don't taste different. But, um, I must say, the experience going away, and for the first time, working in housekeeping for the first time, um, getting the experience and everything was very good. I'm not gonna lie to you. There was some good time, there was some bad time, you know, because one of the bad times, remember, is that you have to push a cat. And let's believe, and on a flat surface, you have to push the cat. The cat has go up hill, down hill. So let's believe, after four months, muscle. <laughs> so every morning, you have to get up and pack your cat, pack it in a towel, your soap, your shampoo, all these things, you know, the room that you need, tiny paper. Garbage bag, ice bag, everything we know the room are gonna need you walk with all of that. When you can't. You know what hard? When you when you don't walk with something and the room need it and then you, you, you realize that the store room are like ten miles away, not hard. So the good thing about it is that me they have some friend of me to me know say me can just walk up to and say, you know, say I forgot X, Y, and Z and say, yeah, mama, I've been my cat, you take it. And you work with it. You know what nice when they don't cook, clean your room them early and the time they don't get they can just sit down in all of their room them and chat and if you want to watch TV you can relax. Yeah. We can talk about it now because that are 15 years ago. <laughs> so um that's a good part and it's a very good experience going away. You know, you meet people and just the experience overall is nice. I'm used to work at this hotel, this hotel, but it's the way up in Aspen. For all, all of the people that know Colorado, we have to went to Aspen. Aspen, the way up in the hill, and it's a cool. So, the good thing about it is, I never drive a day in my life, but me could have able to drive there. Because the thing is, we have a vehicle, we have, um, we have it's like they have some condos, but they like the condos, them, they're all over the place. Man, I don't even know those I'm talking. It's not like a room. So it's like some local households there all over the place. You know, so you have to drive, go to them, to feed in them. One of them houses there, when they rent one of those houses, is normally like to a family. A family like probably have six people, eight people. And then they not, then they not take like two minutes to clean. You have to spend like all an hour on one of them room there to clean, to spread bed, to wash the dishes them, um, jacuzzi in them. And jacuzzi is normal for clean people because jacuzzi, when, when they go for ear, when they go for see ear, and then a normal something. Um, so, I'm trying to get the experience, you know, cleaning. If it's not a girl like cleaning, remember, I tell you, the best work is to go on to kind of show you what I want. Prepare you for another experience somewhere else. So, um, that was one of my advantages. You get to drive, go around, you know different different candles clean them yeah you know if there are people you yeah, know that's a good thing when they actually can meet people that is um very nice it's good and they can meet people and um yeah and them agree and them roll it down to earth you know no 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 what if confrontation too much confrontation and vibes are building a nice 
So when you have the personality where you can talk to people, meet people on the road, you know, if it's, if, if if you are God away, then you say, yo, me are coming or are. It is good when you can have somebody like that. You say, yo, you know, a party, I keep being, you know, what you do? Say, yeah, man, me are come, man, we are roll. Ah, you know, say, me are go down the road, supermarket, what you do? Yeah, man, me are come, man. You know what you like? You like when you can go and have a friend like that. The, the good friend, them are nice, and they say, you know, say, me are going to say, you know, say, me are in the mood, me can't bother. Ah, you know, say, me are going upstairs, something, I keep up there, I come. But I go on here, me can't come. Them friend, them are nice, to be honest. You say, never far in, you want to have somebody we can cry with. You want to be like a party. So if nothing, you know, say, yeah, 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 you're party. Yeah, yeah, you're alone, you're not going to be. So, all right. So, you know, being away on a J1 is very good. You know, you come back and you go to school. You can work your money for pay rest of your school fee. If you have a lot to pay your school fee, it's a good opportunity. But, um, work your money. Come back, finish school. Help your family, whatever your goal is. If you have a little business and you want to do that, you can do that. Um, I always say, you no know, one single college is a good experience. You can work before you finish to get a little money there, you know, to help yourself. I will never travel from playing before. It's a good experience. So all the years, me you know my father come from far, and I always go at airport and, you know, wave to him. Airport, this is a way you go up top and see the plane then whenever I run off on the runway. It's not like that anymore. You have to see if on the glass door outside. You can't even let them off at the, the door sometimes. You have to go way down the road and park up over the parking lot and walk them over. But it's a good experience when you can actually go beyond that door. You know, you have to tell them by instead of you tell, you know, instead of versa, versa, vice versa. This time you are going in and they will leave you. So it's a good experience. Very good experience. Um, to go on it, cause you know, say, you know, all the, everything go now. You know that when they go to immigration, they can't carry no liquid. You know, when they go in, you can't walk with your food. You know, you have to show your food when they reach your immigration. You know, most flights up of Florida, um, you go to immigration here, so. You know, it's kind of a very good experience in the way that, you know, if, once, cause you know, you don't want me always to look up in the sky and see the jet them a pass, you know, the white line, or you see the local um, airplane them a pass in the sky. Whatever it is, I always, you know, think to yourself, if you're that type of person, to say, you know, I don't want to get the opportunity one day to see, you know, it feel like. But I'm going to be honest, going away and meeting people, meeting friends, you know, going through that experience, the whole homesick experience, um, and working in the housekeeping, cleaning so much room, packing a car, doing a second, you know, and to come over one four o'clock. What you gonna do for the rest of the evening though? For be real. You want something else to go and the money is never too much. So you know, Mr. Rekha McDonald. And McDonald is a thing, it's a very good experience also. Cause me used to be the good the girl who mop the floor. But they never yet see before because you know when you work at them fast food place the, the, the floor kind of more fluffy stain with the foot I never mean, realize the foot mark sometime when they go to them place here so me used to just squirt off with the water first the soap water then me used to dry mop and wipe it dry afterwards that was my thing so the, the manager used to come to me and say you know after all the years I've been working here I never yet see somebody wipe the floor like you and I really do appreciate it the time it takes but if not, must me a bun time, you know, because the longer you work, I want to is more pay you get. But anyhow, that's the secret. Find things, something for all is good. I mean, used to buy up all the one door all hundred times and nothing else to do for do. I find I really want them call if you do something else, just find something for do. No matter if I do it over and over and over, once them look and see I do it, yes, that's all they want. Um, So, but the disadvantage I'm never like, Working at the second job is the case that we have to walk home, home like all. How much in miles? Then 2 o'clock then in the morning. Then 3 o'clock in the morning. But still, I forget of your 8 o'clock shift in the morning. <laughs> right? But that's your original job. You have to make sure you're available to do your original job. No matter how tired they get, still have to be available for do your second job. For do your first original job, what you leave Jamaica for. 
So you have to always remember that. So make sure you take your vitamins, anything to keep your body up and going. Yeah. So doing all of that, you know, the experience. But for me to do it again, um, it's kind of hard to say that no. Because when you grow past certain things, it's kind of hard to say you will do it again at this point in life. To be an housekeeper, no, it's gonna be hard because for condition my mind to start lift back much as again to talk and that should be no housekeeper thing. You have to my matter, they call it no mitre, you have to mitre the bed. So, to talk under the sheet, under the mattress, and that you have to make sure you have a good back for that. Um, the cleaning out the ear part was a very challenging task for me. I wouldn't do that again. You do it for yourself, but you go for and do it. 30 room per day i wouldn't do it again um let me see now to work at the second job and to walk from so far at two and three in the morning especially when time cool you're doing it and it was a good um experience because you had a friend that motivated you and said man they're coming over here to walk you know you're on a drive walk walk over here go um that experience having a friend there with you that's a good experience but you know give me that it again <laughs> um um the whole experience going to the club on a fridays and the whole loose get loose enjoy the moment while it lasts and everything is a good experience but the reason why but I do it again, but if I'm in a different setting, because you know, when I grow a little older, being so loose and gone, you're not going to do it like that anymore. Whereas if you're not that type of person, you're kind of more grown. So to sit and eat and, you know, have a look a nice party, with the, you know, something, you know, sweat up yourself so much, you know, you kind of grow into a different, you know, woman now, you're not a, a, a young lady anymore, young, young, young. <laughs> So when I, when I grow older, things what you used to do when you're younger, you're not gonna really do it like that anymore. But it was beyond that, it was a good experience. Um, I would say it's good when everybody go there and get their own experience. But this is my experience, what I went through. All right, and for you to go out there and get the experience, I would suggest everybody go and get their own experience and know what it feels like. To go on a J1, you know, and get the experience, you know, um, to tell your own story. This is just my experience of how I felt and everything. But it was a good run. I would say a good run one time and two time. You know, I was able to come back and pay my school fee. I was able to give up my mother's crib money. So, um, beyond that, I would say I would do it again some aspect of it not everything all right so yeah so be going on a j1 is just a good experience overall sometimes it's not what you expect but once you're in school you just have to have the first experience of everything first experience always go to have a first experience a second and then you can know you can judge yourself from that to say if you would do it again or if not or you know just make up your mind after those two experiences some people use one to make up their mind but i would say as i said i would do it again some aspect of it um but i never been back to colorado that was in i went to colorado in 2008 and 2009 yeah so that's it so on my other video though i would give you my experience on a regular visa i went on a regular visa so i can give you that experience as well that's just my personal experience sharing with you and sharing with the world to know amanda's story all right and um i'll give you also my experience going on an h2b as a work and travel program 
can give you my experience on that as well. All right, so so to conclude everything, as I said, I would do it again, only some aspect of it, not all of it, I would do again. So I recommend everybody to get their own experience. You know, I advise everybody to stay in school, go to college for their education and find a motivation that will push you to do good and to finish your education. Don't give up no time. Determination is the key. Just stay focused, be determined, don't give up whatever you want, you will achieve it. Nobody tell you can. Anybody can say anything. Guys, when people tell me say me can do it, <laughs> that me why here, cause I'll prove you wrong. I'll prove you wrong. I was that time, my mother used to say to me, you know, say too determined now, you're determined for the right things. Have a determination and a motivation for yourself. And know what you want for yourself. So whatever you want, you will achieve. Once you stay focused and do it, and once there's a party, you go to the party and come back. Yeah? And make sure you come back in time for your work. <laughs> and try and make sure you do it responsibly. Don't lose your head in the game. Enjoy the moment, because nothing lasts forever. Sometimes in this moment for now, as you win tomorrow, is a different meditation tomorrow. Now the same thing we go to today, you're going to go to tomorrow. All right. So that's just my motivation for you, for the J1, all the students that's going to college, all parents that have kids going to college soon. Make them go on, man. Make them go on and get them experience. Because I think in life, your experience and my experience is different. You can tell me this and then me go on something else. But it's a program, be prepared for anything. Try and just roll it, people. You know, it kind of prepare you. Oh, all who love stay long in a bathroom, or two, three hours, it ain't gonna work. One take of firing, something you have to stay in a bathroom around 15 minutes, if so long, too. That it, it lessen everything. All the time you take to be in, time you take to eat, everything after just cut short. So it kind of prepare you to know that when you go firing, it's not gonna be the same as being home. It show you to compromise, it show you how to, to, to work, live with people, it show you how to be caring for other people. You can't think about yourself only, you have to think about other people, right? So that's just the thing I love with leaving and going overseas. It's just a different environment, you know, and it's what you make it, whatever you make it. So if you feel like you want to be that stuck up type and not deal with people, you're going to have the hard end of the road. So if you want to feel like you're the type of outgoing, spoken, you know, you deal with people, you're rolling people, you're going to be stuck up in yourself, you got to, um, and don't forget this golden saying for yourself, you do unto others as you like others to do unto you. From the bond to this day, may I hear that statement there. It's a very good statement to roll and to live with in the back of your mind. Don't do to somebody who you're not willing to accept back. You see, whatever you do, Willing to take it back, take it back full force. So, if you give on somebody, I give to you, take it. If you mean to a person, you're selfish when people tell you, No, don't feel no way. So, that's just one of the, the things when we learn going away, it kind of you know, show you how to roll the people, show you different personality, everything of rolling. Really. So, um, as I said, I have a lot of videos coming up. A lot of experience, a lot of experience that I'm open to share with you. So you know my story. All right. And anybody else can, you know, from the start of live and I'm available, I watch it live. If not, I watch it afterwards to listen to your experience also. Right. As everybody when you know but everybody go to something in life, it's just not everybody willing to share it. Everybody keep it to themselves. But I feel like sharing is caring and it's good to make the world know your story. It all depends. You know, if it's something personal, you don't have to talk it. Um, it's good so the world know your story so you can actually help somebody. You know, because some people might not know. But you know, as I said, J1 is a school. School work experience is not an experience where you go in and once you're not in school, you have to be fully enrolled in college mostly to go on it 
all right so that was when i was going to college at the time after that you know i have my daughter she's gonna be um a birthday coming up september so <laughs> So that's for that. This is a wrap. Thank you y'all for watching my video. Remember to like my video, share my video so your friends can see Amanda telling the story of first time going on a J1 school visa work program. All right. Working as a housekeeper. <laughs> so you can share my story. It's really good to hear what the other persons have to say. Thank you for being a part of my video and y'all enjoy the rest of your day.